today is the day we get to see the rifle. We're in Mona, Utah to work with Barnes Bullets and their ballisticians to maximize the performance of this rifle. And we set this rifle up with a shorter proof barrel to reduce as much weight as possible. The challenge we've got with the shorter barrels, we have to have the perfect loads. We're here to really dive into the ballistics, what makes the Barnes Bullet the right choice for this project, really just talk about the gas behind the engine. We're going to make this gun perform as efficiently and as accurately as possible. It's as important as any part of this process and put together the ultimate sheep rifle uh, in an ultralight package. We're going to learn a lot today. I'm really, really excited to see the gun and shoot it and put all of this together. All right, Jason, so it's been three months since we were at Sturgis. Anticipation at its peak. Is it in here? It's in here. Dude, let's open it. Let's check it out. <laughs> that is awesome. There it is. Look at that. Look I mean, that is beautiful. I just, the whole balance of color, the, the contrast between the barrel, the titanium, and then the VS camo is unbelievable. It came out so well. I got to look at this thing. It is really light. Five pounds, six ounces. Really light. Not something you're going to find a lot of heavy barrel contour rifles. Yeah, exactly. Beyond impressed. Awesome. Well done. Happy you're part of it. All right, so what's next? Well, let's get Greg Sloan in. He's going to run us through the ballistics of a 6.5 Creedmoor Great. and, uh, you know, really why we chose the cartridge. Awesome. So, Greg, tell me about the 6.5 Creedmoor. This is a new round for me, and I know there's a lot of buzz about this. It's a really popular round right now. Right. And I want to better understand why. Okay. Yeah, it is popular, um, but for good reason. It's, it's mild-mannered um, as a cartridge, and it's very forgiving. They're very accurate. It makes a great hunting ground, especially mm -hmm. in a lightweight setup. Okay. Not a lot of recoil, but still has the performance. It can act a lot bigger than it really is. What do you mean by that? You know, you look at a bullet like we have here with the 127, the new LRX that we've introduced in this Vortex LR, you have a high weight retention, good expansion at both close range and long range, and so it's gonna penetrate deep, it's gonna okay. hold its weight. So you're talking bigger sheep, even game up to the size of elk, as long as you keep your shots reasonable, it's acting bigger than it is. It's gonna give you that performance. Now is this off the shelf? It is now off the us? shelf, this is brand new. So this is a bullet that we've, we've developed for long range hunting. So traditionally Barnes is solid copper yeah. on the hunting bullets, high weight retention, deep penetration. Um, with our triple shock, that's what they're known for. They're a premium bullet. So we took what worked with the triple shock, mm. we've changed the cavity, we've changed the tool, and we've moved that function window down so that you get bullet expansion at extended range. Okay. And that's what we're seeing here. Even at low, real low velocities, you know, these are below 2,000 feet per second. Okay. You're still getting you know, 1.7, 1.8 times diameter expansion. Okay. You know, that's gonna give you the type of performance to still make you know, a good wound cavity, yep. still have expansion and create dab, you know, damage within the animal. All right, here we are, it's 100 yard range. So this is a ballistic test facility. We've got some chronographs. This is a nailer system. Uh, acoustic microphones are downrange, but this will measure your group size. These acoustic microphones, they'll pick that round up, triangulate the location, and we'll measure dispersion right here on the screen. We'll track velocity and target coordinates. We'll be able to look at it right here. And this will help give us data to help build the optic. We can send that to loophole, and yeah. it'll help build the downrange trajectory. Perfect, so you're dialed in. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at your three-shot group. So we've got it right here, 0.6, so just barely over half an inch. That's pretty good, brand new gun, new load. I know when you guys looked at this build, we were looking at 20-inch barrel. Could we go that short? Yep. You know, 24-inch, we're looking at 28, 25 box velocity, and we're averaging 27.94. Wow. So we didn't really lose anything. 30 no. feet per second for four inches of barrel on an ultra light yeah, backcountry gun. Picked up five, yeah, five ounces yeah, of weight. I'll take that any day. So yeah. the bullet's still gonna perform great. Low SD, 14 feet per second. Extreme spreads, very low, 28 feet per second. Very consistent from one shot to the next. So like we talked about, you know, that, that consistency, yep. shot after shot. Gives you the reliability, gives you the confidence. That's right. Yeah. We just finished up phase two of putting together the ultimate sheep hunting rifle. And that was a day spent at Barnes, learned about their bullet technology, worked with them to put together the perfect load. We had to see the rifle, Remington Custom Shop, their level and attention detail was absolutely impressive. Took it downstairs, we got to shoot it. Shoots incredibly well, very accurate, really consistent. 
So now the next step is take it up to Leupold. We're going to work with Bruce and his team up there and put together the perfect optics package for this ultralight sheep hunting rifle.